close your eyes and watch your breath. Remember to stay here. Each time you breathe in, remind yourself, this is where you want to be, right here, right now. It's in this way you learn how to depend on your mindfulness, because mindfulness is the ability to keep something in mind. The right mindfulness tells you the right things to do. This is why your mindfulness has to be trained. As I would have said, when you develop mindfulness, you're making yourself a refuge. At the same time, you're making mindfulness a refuge. But it has to be right mindfulness, because you can keep all kinds of things in mind. All kinds of lessons you may have learned, sometimes right, sometimes wrong. They get jumbled up together in the mind. And so if your memory of what's right and wrong gets jumbled, then you don't really have anything inside that you can depend on. This is why in the beginning we have to depend on the Buddha and the Dharma and the Sangha. The Buddha's teachings about what's right to do and what's wrong to do, what's skillful and what's unskillful. And then as you put those teachings into practice, you begin to notice that what he said was true. You observe the precepts and life is a lot better. You meditate, life is a lot better. So you learn those lessons. And then those are the lessons you keep in mind and apply in the future. And this way you become more and more your own refuge as your mindfulness develops. So remember, for mindfulness to be right, it has to depend on right understanding. And the understanding comes both from outside, but also more particularly from the qualities you develop inside. That's when it really becomes your own. And your own mindfulness then becomes your own refuge. You are your own refuge. So work on making sure that you take the right lessons from what you do and say and think. Because that's the only way we learn in this world. We can learn lots of information. You can turn on the internet and get all kinds of information. But you don't know if it's true or not. What you know is true is if you've acted in a certain way and you got certain results, and you were present both for the action and for the results. That way you can see clearly. So right mindfulness makes your knowledge better, and right knowledge makes your mindfulness better. The two work together. And when you've got both, okay, that's when you can really depend on yourself. You can go anywhere you want, because you've got all you need in order to make sure that you don't act in ways that are going to destroy your own happiness.